Hi, I will in this video demonstrate how map projection affects distance measures. And I have here open in ArcGIS Pro a map of all the countries of the world as well as many of the cities. And I can measure distances using the measure tool found here. If you have the map tab activated, this is then available. And opening this tool, I can then measure distances, for instance from Oslo. I situate the cursor here, click and move to Dar es Salaam, for instance here, and see that this distance is about 7.8 thousand kilometers. You may notice that the line between the two points here, from Oslo to whatever point, is a banded arc, and this shows that the measure which is now measured, the distance which is measured, is a geodetic distance. It's the distance on a spherical surface. If I change the map projection, we will see how this may be affected. Changing pro map projection is done by altering the properties of the map and you need to activate the coordinate system here and I have made three, two map projection and one unprojected uh, view of the data here. I put them in the favorite here um, if you don't have them in the favorite you need to look them up, for instance, from the projected coordinate system here. We can go to world, and then there are many of them here available. So, for instance, if you wanted to add this also to favorites, you right click on it and add it to favorites. But just let us see how the Mercato projection and the Eckert projection may affect the distance measures. So let's start with the Mercato, click on there and OK, and we will see that the map change a bit. If we take full extent again, we'll see how this affects the world. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we have Oslo up here and Dar es Salaam up here. We have the measure distance here. And we measure the distance and it's very approximately the same distance. So why is that? It's because we are still measuring the geodesic distance. So if we want to see how map projection actually alter the uh, distance measures, we should look at how planar distances are being measured. So if we activate the planar measure here, we will be able to see how planar distance measures will be affected by map projection. Then if we now look at this distance, now you will notice that the line which is generated here, this is a straight line. And then the distance to, from Oslo to Dar es Salaam is much more than 7.8 thousand kilometers. Is about 9.7 thousand kilometers. If we see how a equal area map projection would affect it, we can choose this Eckert projection and do the measurements once more. Just let it check on planar. We do the measurement and this is about 8.6 thousand kilometers. So this was how map projection affected distance measures using then planar measurements compared to a geodesic measurement of distances.